Nigeria's President George Weir has a message for voters ahead of an election on Tuesday. He needs more time. But after a first term marred by corruption allegations and continued hardship, many still need convincing. The former soccer star, who came to power in 2017, says the global health crisis set back his plans, but that he is on track to deliver progress in the poverty-stricken country. He's campaigning, as he did last time around, on building new roads in a country where many unpaved routes become impassable in the rainy season. Weir has also built hospitals and introduced free education, winning him support from people like small business owner Mami Togba. It don't do for me, but grandchildren, the children were coming down, were coming up. Me, I would die, but the children were coming on, and they would enjoy it. But some voters are disappointed by his failure to improve living standards or tackle corruption. Last year, Weir fired his chief of staff and two other senior officials after the United States imposed sanctions on them for corruption. In 2018, a Liberian court issued arrest warrants for more than 30 former central bank officials in connection with $104 million that went missing. Josephine Musa is a supporter of Weir's main election rival, former Vice President Joseph Boakai. So Weir said that he was coming for change. He said that Joseph Boakai there, they corrupt the country, they steal money, and they made things hard for us. They were coming for change. But now, they can, everything has been worse. <laughs> Liberia is also witnessing a growing narcotics problem among destitute youths. A number of users of Kush live in this cemetery in Monrovia. Among them is Lloyd Ben, who says they want help from the government. The government are taking no action on it, and the Kush killing most of our friends. We're going to have strong resistance. Presidential candidates need to secure more than 50% of the vote to avoid a runoff. Maya Bovkon, senior Africa analyst at risk intelligence company Verisk Maplecroft, said Weir will likely win in the second round. That's in part due to his success story in rising from the slums of Liberia to the peak of world soccer. But she said his poor track record could cost him votes, as could the loss of support of his key backer, former warlord Prince Yomi Johnson, who has switched his allegiance to Boakai. However, she said a lack of strong, fresh opposition could work in his favour. So too could solid economic growth. The World Bank says the economy expanded by nearly 5% last year, driven by gains in agriculture and mining.